Here's a quick little video tour of our wine cellar. As you can see, it's in our basement, it's a finished basement. And uh, this corner of the room here, uh, the bedroom was already completed, so we didn't have to do much on the outside. There's the door, as you can see, this is a full exterior door, which you definitely want on your uh, wine cellar when you build that out. And before we go in there, I'm gonna show you the cooling unit. We actually have a through the wall unit that we actually mounted through here into a closet that uh, joins that room. And uh, we've got it uh, insulated and ducted out, actually goes into uh, the furnace room and ducts out into there. So we'll just kind of walk in here. So as you can see, uh, kind of went fairly high end on the racking. Um, it took us quite a while to get this racking. It was custom built out of a place in uh, New Hampshire. You get folks the name of the company. Um, they kind of semi-custom built this, shipped it in, uh, on a pallet, which was a challenge uh, getting it. They were probably about three to four weeks late on delivering it. So something to keep in mind if you're uh, getting, getting custom built uh, showing for your racking for your uh, wine cellar. So here's the uh, unit. It's a wine guardian unit through the wall. Works pretty well. They've got two different models of this that can pick up. I think one's about, uh, I wanna say about 1500. The other one's like right around 2000. So not, not inexpensive, but it works well. Um, for some of you that have a basement room that you're converting, you can see here had the original window in here that was uh, egress for like for a fire to get out. We actually did put in a, a, a solid double pane window in here and then I actually put in about uh, it's probably like two and a half inch solid like foam insulation in here just to kind of give it a little bit um, you know more protection and uh, did sort of marble sort of travertine tile like I said it's a preference depending on what you like uh, racking, pretty typical. The one thing that you can't see in here that I think is really important is the uh, closed cell foam insulation that's behind the walls. There's a number of different ways of insulating, but I think that's probably your safest bet because it seals all the cracks. And if you were to, for some reason, you know, on the other side of this wall, put a nail through, if it goes through that, that insulation, it won't, it won't um, compromise the uh, vapor barrier, which is kind of nice. Um, racking, again, that's totally is where you can go crazy on cost. I'd say the, the build out of this room, the framing was already done. We had to do a little bit of demo. Um, some framing here of a beam that went through the insulation, the floors, drywall work, lighting, electrical. All that in was about nine grand. And again, I, I, I didn't do any work myself. That's including the cost of this door. It's an exterior door install which is as I said again really important but uh, total cost on in about nine grand including the cost of the tile uh, installation the window uh, the insulation the variable cost here is that unit that was a preference for me doing a through the wall unit and the racking cost me I want to say it was about sixty five hundred dollars um, and then you could even go way higher than that this is unfinished mahogany um, I, I did choose to stain this uh, this block unit that we've uh, got in here, put some varnish on the top, but pretty much everything is unfinished. This is kind of my preference, uh, both due to cost and just kind of the look and feel that I wanted. One thing the uh, contractor did do that it was, I think was kind of nice, they put this under-mounted uh, LED lighting, not going to be able to see it, but it's like a tape that's mounted on the underside um, of this display rack here. That was totally his idea, I was going to do something a little less fancy than that, so and yeah, definitely something, you know, talk to your contractor, they're going to help you build and they can come up with some ideas. The racking company actually helped me design the layout of this, I was going to do something a lot more basic. They re recommended these end caps, you know, obviously something I could remove at some point and extend the racking along the wall here, or add additional racking there on this back wall. So you can see I got a freestanding uh, unit there that was left over from uh, my old sort of ad hoc cellar. But that's uh, that's about it. If anybody has any questions, feel free to contact me via email and I can 
sort of talk to you about what we went through to build this. Thanks.